I have lights, camera, sun coast. Some people in the North Fort Myers community are voicing anger over how they're portrayed in a documentary. An independent filmmaker is behind the YouTube film, and our senior reporter, Mike Walter, got to talk to him. This is a clip from the rough cut documentary, Sun Coast. 29 year old David Salo chose this place in North Fort Myers because of its reputation as the world's largest trailer park. I feel that we can actually bring something good to the table here. Some people in Sun Coast don't like the video. We're not redneck hillbilly out here. Yes, there's, there's what you want to call rednecks out here, but it hurts me to think that you have to classify us as hillbillies. The documentary focuses on several residents. A man named Gary shows his weapons. A woman well, tells the crew she's schizophrenic. It's, um, used to be called Scum Coast. Um, I guess the people here, they thought were scummy because they were poor. We are not scummy people. We're not, we're just ordinary people. Because we don't have a bank account, it doesn't matter. Salo tells us he's trying to show the good side, the free food that people get at the community center, for example. We came in there to see what was so crazy about it, because everybody always talks bad about it. But what we found is when we came in there, that all these good working people are just like everybody else. Jamie Short says her relatives in California saw the video, they called and begged her to move out. I was angry, I was devastated. It took me to the ground in tears. This longtime Suncoast resident calls the portrayal too negative. And just to make us look like a, a bunch of backwood hicks, it's kind of frustrating. Salo responds he was looking for, quote, characters to interview, but he stands behind his work. I didn't find anything really negative about it at all. I mean, they're just good, honest, hardworking people. I'm Mike Walsher, Wink News Now. Now, the filmmaker, Salo, tells us he would like to make a reality TV show set in Suncoast or add to his documentary with more of the positive things happening there. If you want to check out the video for yourself, we have a link for you on our website,